A Randolph County woman is alive after falling roughly 30 feet at a popular hiking destination. This happened Sunday between Baden Lake and High Rock Lake. You know, first responders arrived on the scene, but they had to scramble for information to locate the woman because she and her hiking partner didn't know exactly where they were located. Fox News Rashida Kaba spoke to emergency crews uh, who responded and joins us now with the very latest on this. And Rashida, how's the woman doing at this hour? Well, Chad, I can tell you that I spoke to her father about an hour ago. He tells me that she is safely out of surgery. And according to her mom's Facebook page, it was for her forehead, her spleen, and her eye socket. She still has upcoming surgeries on her knee and a fractured ankle. As for first responders who arrived on scene, they are now saying thanks to a team effort for this save. What equipment do we need? What can we physically carry to this patient? because we're not going to be able to take everything with us. Those were the thoughts running through the minds of first responders Sunday around 2.45 p.m. when they got the call someone had fallen 30 feet from a cliff between Baden and High Rock Lakes. The only thing responders knew for sure was that the victim was in her 20s and her friend she was hiking with mentioned last seeing a sign for Newsom Road. Because we don't know if which direction they're actually in because the details we had were they could see a campfire, stuff like that. They couldn't give us actual landmarks. With cell phone reception spotty and few details, a firefighter hiked to find the location the woman had fallen from. Minutes later, the firefighter radioed in that she'd been found. Now, the struggle of how to get her down from that rocky terrain. We actually had to use some of the trees in the area to wrap the rope around to assist with lowering her down the last stretch. Uh, it was about a, say, 20 foot section that we had to lower her down. A few of the firefighters had to crawl down on their hands and knees to get to the bottom in order to catch her when, when she did make it low enough. As first responders worked to keep the woman calm enough to get her down. Kept her talking, just trying to keep her mind off what's going on. Just trying to keep her as comfortable as we could. Deputies on the ground were doing the same for her family members who were on scene. And especially with your child not knowing if she's, if she's even going to live. And being able to be there for him and her grandmother was out there as well. And, being able to be there for them and an emotional need like that and be able to, um, to help them through that is, is, is an honor to do that. The patient was transported to the hospital by air and is expected to make a full recovery. And now the good thing I'm told is that she's able to wiggle her toes and feel touch, which is typically a good indicator that she doesn't have any paralysis. And her family tells me that she's hoping this is a cautionary story for other hikers. Live tonight in Davidson County, Rashida Kaba, Fox 8 News.